Hey guys, it's Hafi. I'm back again, and this is going to be a tag video. This is the Panning Community Tag. I believe this was started by Beauty by Angela. She will be linked down below. I will put the questions down below. There are 10 questions. Um, somebody, who was it? It was either Jessica Lee or um, Amanda D told me I should do this when I said, hey, maybe I should do this. And they were like, yes, you should do this. So, yeah, I finally got around to it. <laughs> uh, and I saw this just the other day on um, uh, Triggy's channel, uh, Courtney. I will leave her link down below. I'll leave all of those people I just mentioned down below. Um, yeah, so, first question. How long have you been active in the panic community? Um, I think this is my... Th yeah, I think this would be my third year. Um, panning was something I got into fairly soon after I started filming on YouTube or like putting up YouTube videos and I think I'm in my, into my fourth year on YouTube, something like that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been most of the time I've been on YouTube, I've been doing some kind of project. Um, what brought you to the panning community? I don't remember exactly, but I was watching somebody and they mentioned, um, they were mentioning people like Thrifty Beauty and Meg, um, Meg Eight Fish, I think it is, and um, Courtney K. And I was watching one of them, and they mentioned Amber F. And I went and checked out Amber F. That was when she did her first Pan That Palette. Um, and I was kind of like hooked in from then. I was, I like, I follow all of those, those people. Um, and yeah, that was, it was like really Amber's um, shopping her stash and her Pan That Palette that really kind of started to pull me into the whole thing. Um, and just like watching a lot of these other people, there was like a whole group of us that were like, well, a whole group of them that I used to watch and I always used to like do collabs and stuff together. Um, and then like, as you start to get into that community, you start to have, like people will mention somebody else that they've watched. So you go and watch that person and then you'll subscribe to that person. And then like, before you know it, instead of like following, two or three panners, you're following like a hundred of them. And yeah, it just kind of like blows up. <laughs> uh, number three, what is your favorite product to pan and what is your least favorite product to pan? Um, uh, hmm. I don't really have a favorite, favorite product to pan. Um, I... I mean, some products are easier to pan than others. Like things like skincare, uh, yeah, I find quite easy to pan. Um, other products I find quite a bit harder to pan. Um, but like more successfully, I've actually almost finished panning two highlighters in the time that I've been panning, which might not sound like, it doesn't sound like much, but highlighters are really hard to pan because you don't use very much. Um, <laughs> and I've used a, a whole of a NYX Mosaic um, highlighter, and I've almost finished the Natio Bronzer Enhancer, which I use as a highlighter, because once I mixed it all together, it was basically light enough for that, and I've got, like, this much repressed into the middle of a pan left of that one, so that will be my second highlighter, so, um, I don't really like <coughs> panning, I don't really like panning bronzers because they're bloody hard to pan when you don't really bronze and really don't need to bronze very much. Currently panning on at the moment. Um, they're not my they're not my favourite. Um, I kind of really struggle with them. <laughs> uh, I'm actually really good at hitting pan and pro products, but not so much finishing them. Um, often when I hit pan, I just set them aside and start working on something else. Yes, yeah. Um, oh, and cream products. I hate panning cream products like cream highlighters, cream blushes. Actually, I no longer own any cream blushes. I've got rid of them all. And I think I only have one cream highlighter left um, because I just don't like them. So I gen generally get rid of them. Um, yeah. 
and eye base products I, I really don't because mainly because I'm made successful I don't really like panning them I like panning things and I'm successful at panning um, and not so much other stuff uh, what projects are you currently working on? Um, okay, so there's the, I've got a palette palette that I'm doing. I have the A to Z project pan, the um, birthstone beauties, the every day it's a holiday, skin is in, peeping pan, which is kind of on hiatus at the moment. Um, lip service. I'm also doing a reading project pan, a reading reading project called Project Book Smarts. Um, earlier, like in March, I did a mini project that was basically just uh, green, yellow, gold type items. Um, I may do another project sort of later towards the end of the year. I'm sort of thinking about starting another Doctor Who project soon um, to run up to Christmas um, like I did last year because that was actually quite fun to, to do one that was like a themed type one um, but I don't know at this stage uh, I'm not sure I think there might be another one or two projects that I'm supposed to be jumping in on with the fantastic ladies but I don't know at this particular point I'm also doing the one month one sailor senshi which some people are doing as a project pan but I'm actually doing nail art for it so um, but I don't have a project polish this year because I've put polishes into a whole bunch of other things so yeah um, they're they're all the ones that I can think of at the moment I think they're all the ones I'm doing so I have quite a few of them I have them all written down and like planned out and people, I have been asked a few times how I stay organised. I write, write it down. Yeah. Um, what is your favourite current project? Um, I think my favourite current project is the A to Z one because there's just such a broad range of product that it's really hard to get bored because I have so many different products in it um, and I've been making a bit of progress on stuff that I like and stuff that I don't like so that's always good um, your least favorite project is probably the peeping pan one which was actually the one I was most excited about because it's more like about using your stuff rather than finishing anything but the products that I've picked so far are just not ones that I'm reaching for. So they're just, nothing's happening to them. Like, I don't think any of them have moved in. Except maybe the eyeliner that I've got in there. I don't think anything's moved in, like, two months or something. So, yeah. Uh, what support system do you use for panning? Um, mainly, um, it's, like, YouTube interaction. So like talking to other YouTubers and um, making videos and having them watch and respond to that. Um, a little bit on Instagram. I don't really do too much of my own panning on Instagram other than when I post a picture of when I hit pan or something. Um, but I do follow other panners um, there. And of course like Facebook groups like the Fantastic Ladies, which of course I'll leave a link down below. Um, and Geeks and Beauties, to a certain extent, a few of the girls in Geeks and Beauties are into panning, so um, those kind of groups where other, oh, and the Pan Fam, which is LS's group, link them to, um, they, they're always like really supportive and helpful for people who are panning and need someone to talk to about something that's happening. Uh, what is your proudest moment when panning? Um, for me, it's usually that I've actually managed to hit pan. Because, <laughs> like, I tend to do a lot of powder type products. And so, actually seeing that little shiny bit of pan in the bottom of a product, uh, particularly if you've been working on it for months and months and months. I, I know when I hit pan in my um, NYX Mosaic highlighter, I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Because uh, it was just like just seemed like it was never going to happen. I had a dip in it for months and it was like it's never going to happen. That product took me, I think it was 18 months from the time I hit pan until I actually finished it. 
That was a really long, like, that, that was a really long achievement. So, yeah, hitting pan and then, you know, the few times I've actually finished really difficult products to finish. Uh, as long as I'm enjoying using them, it's always good. Um, what is your biggest panning goal for 2018? Um, to actually, even if I don't finish everything, to actually finish the projects. So I get to the end of the year and do a finale and look at what I've learned and what I could have done differently and um, yeah, use it as a learning experience for next year for the pro pro projects that I pick for next year to be as successful as possible. I mean, one of the things I've realised this year that for me, the most important thing about panning is to curate my collection. So sometimes it's not even about finishing products. It's about learning what you like and what you don't like and being prepared because I'm a bit of a hoarder. I don't like getting rid of things. I find it really hard sometimes, but being able to let things go and be able to say, you know what, you, you tried, but this product is not for you. This, is, this product is for someone else and just move on from it. Um, and not being afraid to make that decision. So yeah, that's, that's my goal for this year really, is just to be prepared to let things go if they're not working. Uh, number 10 and the final question is what is the best advice for new project panners? My, my number one advice for new project panners is pick the majority of products that you are panning in your first project pick them as products that you use every single day anyway or at least regularly so your moisturizer, your serum your sunscreen, your lip balm, cuticle oil, hand cream, those kind of products. Pick those kind of products first off. And then add in a couple of products that are extra step products. So they add an extra step, but they're, they kind of like help extend you a little bit, but it's not like... So the majority of your products are not difficult products. You want to pick mostly easy products to start off with so that you f learn to feel successful and you learn to plan and, and plot things out. I don't recommend picking something like a full-size bronzer that you just bought for your first panning project because you're not going to be successful. You're probably going to end up hating your bronzer or you'll end up overusing it and then you might look a little silly. Or you just won't use it at all because it just seems so big. Um, the other thing is pick travel size or sample sizes of things um, so <laughs> that you work through them. You're more likely to work through them. So if you've got like a small size bronzer, like, you know, one of them little tiny ones, maybe work on one of those, particularly if it's, um, it's my other advice is pick products that can be multi-use. So if you have um, a contour shade that you can also use as an eyeshadow and then multi-use it so you get more use out of it is always like a really good way to go. Or an eyeshadow that you can also use as your brow colour like to do your brows, it's another way of getting through it, or an eyeshadow that you can use as both a highlighter and an inner corner or a lid shade so that you get more use out of products, so think about how you're going to use your products and think outside the box, just because it says it's an eyeshadow doesn't mean you have to use it as an eyeshadow, you can dab some of it on a lip gloss to change how your lips look, you can use quite a few eyeshadows as blushes or as your highlight or as your contour depending on what colour you are and vice versa. Anything that's a powder product, mostly, can be used in other areas on your face. Uh, and if you have um, like lipsticks, you can use your lipstick as a cream blush. You know, be prepared to experiment a little bit with your products and change the way that you use your products a little bit um, to get the most use out of them. If you are insane like some of us and you like to use nail polish, you're going to have to paint your nails a lot. And not just your fingernails, your toenails. And, you know, maybe 
offer to give other people manicures and pedicures and use those polishes and paint other people's nails and uh, practice doing lots of nail art type stuff and if it doesn't work, clean your nails off and start again. Um, it, it might seem like a waste but you're actually learning something at the same time, you're practicing skills, um, it's not considered a waste as far as I'm concerned. Try lots of different techniques and if it doesn't look right or you don't like it, just take it off and start again. Even if you end up just doing a plain manicure after it, just yeah, play around. That's probably the most important thing. Play around and experiment with products and see what you can get away with. Basically. So that would be my advice. Uh, yeah, so that is it for this particular tag. As I said, all the people I mentioned and sites will be linked down below. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new videos. Leave me a thumbs up if you like tag videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!